I'm Dean, I'm here with Zappa. What's up? And we're gonna play a little Dark Souls 2. Now, uh, you watched the first, uh, the first few videos we did, right? Yeah, Maybe, oh, uh... I have bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. Okay. So, I mean, you got, like, a fairly... Well, I mean, you've already watched me play through that one little chunk of a fair amount. Fairly, uh, well-versed with the beginning of this game at this point, I would say. Correct. That being the case, uh, I'm going to skip this opening cinema. Oh. Get right to the game. For, Homing uh, Solaro? Play. Homing Solaro. It's a, I, that is actually a new spell, I believe. Because it was a soul arrow, right? That's correct. I mean, um, technically the soul arrow does actually home in on its target anyway. So I'm not 100% sure if that's really a new spell or not. They just changed the name. So this is it. This is brand new. This is the first thing that happens? Yep. We're at the opening cinematic. You just kind of, your character appears here. No character creation or anything? Uh, no, they make you run from here. And they just let you go into the house first. Okay. Which I like, because they put you in this little opening area. Um, you know, you have no weapons, uh, no shield. We are completely hollow, so we've only got half our, uh, half our health. And there's uh, enemies running around in here, actually. Now you say you're hollow, so you only have half health. Is this different from the first game, where you had your whole health when you are hollow? Yeah, and um, in Demon Souls, there was a similar mechanic, where when you were dead, you only had half your health, and you had to use an item called the Cling Ring to gain a little bit more of your health back. And okay. you can only gain your max health bar if you were human. Or alive. In uh, this game, what they do is every time you die, you lose 10% of your total health, bombing out at 50%. And the only way you can get that back is by becoming human again. In addition to that, you can also be invaded while you are hollow, in addition to when you're alive. Which means there's no longer any actual benefit to playing through the game hollow, like there was in the uh, original game. Where okay. You, where if you wanted to, like you could very, you could pretty much just sit, remain hollow. And just play the whole game and not have to worry about getting invaded. But, you know, you were playing by yourself. I'm assuming that was clearly a, a design intention. They wanted you to be, become human? Yeah, exactly. Okay. They kind of always wanted you to play human. And I guess what they thought felt was, uh, when they did uh, Dark Souls, is that they would tweak it. Where you don't lose your health like you did in Demon's Souls. But, okay. um, they basically kind of, in my opinion, found a nice medium ground with this game. Where it's not quite as severe as Demon's Souls, where you die once and you just lose everything. Gotcha. But, uh... Now... I read the classes matter now. They don't. That's actually what it says. <laughs> they, 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 like, it was so... I was disappointed because I was all excited about it. They're like, oh, now you actually have... Um, you know, the classes are you know important. And I'm like, oh, cool. I'm, I'm excited about that. But then when I went to play, I'm like, they don't, they don't do anything. Okay. All it is is your starting gear and uh, like how your stats start when you're... Uh, cre so just like the first game. Or Pretty just much. Like the first, so just starting stats and... Yeah. Okay. They were basically BSing. I um, think my guy. My guy's gonna be ripped, not like it matters. Cause ripped? He's gonna be like uh, Hugh Jackman in Wolverine? Pretty much. <laughs> Hugh Jackman. <laughs> he, think... Hugh Jackman got pretty ripped for that. that, that he did. Wolverine. He signed on for Wolverine 3 now, too. He's gonna become like a fucking superhuman by the time he gets to that movie. He's gonna start roiding. It'll uh, be like uh, Stallone, vintage Stallone. Apparently, his diet is pretty popular, too, I hear. They call, it, they call it they call when when oh he, the caveman diet isn't that yeah, his thing when uh when he sets up for movies yeah uh, they call it the Hugh Jackman how he transforms <laughs> because I think he filmed that along the same times as that uh Les Miserables movie where I think he was a bit heavy in that because he was playing like a London cop I think you know my Shakespearean knowledge is a little rusty <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's there were two uh, physically different characters that, and they were very impressed of how fast he turned around and became shredded beyond belief. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Let's see eyebrows. Those look more like mine, right? I was trying. Yes, yeah, I was trying to find an eyebrow that has the one like notch in it. Oh, like the like the Andre Arlovsky, uh eyebrow scratch. Or, or Ellie has it too. She does actually. Oh. That's a good call. Also, one of those Charm sisters on Charmed had had that. One of the actresses. I never watched Charm. One with the small tits. <laughs> <laughs> kind of remember her, but not really. She was the, the non-famous one. I can see that. Now. Not Alyssa Milano or oh, the yeah. other one who went crazy. I forgot Alyssa Milano was. Or yeah, Alyssa man. Milano was on that show. You know what? I just realized my guy's eyes are a little bit. Uh, they're a little Asian looking. I got. They're a that. little Asian. Well, we kind of, not that I have anything against you know Asian people. I just need to model a character off myself. And I'm not, I'm not that Asian looking, really. <laughs> I'm more Italian looking, I think I would say. Although, when you change his eyes, your stat allocation is not going to be as efficient as it could be. 
What does a strong character look like? No! What? <laughs> he looks like a fish man. I kind of want to say go with it. <laughs> uh, but no, no I, I cannot I, I really play don't. that. Because okay. here's the thing. I maybe would, but it's like, I'm going to be playing with this character like feasibly for like 100 hours. So I, I actually don't want him to look retarded. Uh, color Are you giving him hair or no? No. That's the closest to hair you can get, I guess. Well, yeah. I keep my hair pretty short anyway, so. Okay. He's like bald here. Isn't Mr. Clean look on it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. This is like me as a, like a shallow monk. Because you're going to wear a helmet immediately? Yeah, pretty much. Gotcha. Not really worried about it. Shape, rolled of no size. Now, to me, being a PC gamer, this character creator looks pretty weak, but this is miles beyond the first one, right? No, it's pretty much the same. It's is just it? that the uh, settings are better. Okay. Like, you know, it's it, like they did a, very, a better job kind of like, you know, making sure everything was very clearly like labeled. They had this kind of stuff in the original as well. Gotcha. Let's see. Uh, you know what, dude? I, I... Oh, he's got that Bruce Lee pose going on. He definitely does. Where he's just not flexing, yet is entirely... <laughs> 100% <laughs> body flexing at the same time. That is true. Right, here we got an angle. Let's, uh... Is that right? No. Knight just looks sad. <laughs> no. Nope. Can you save presets in this? Just out of curiosity. Pretty sure you can. Oh, look at that. You know what? It's, it's fine. fine. I'm just going to go for a generic one. Body, gender, build, physique, yeah. Where the hell did I have presets? Yeah, here we go. Not that one, though. We'll use a... What is this, skin tone? Is that what this is? Nah, this is just like a preset. Like oh, bases. just regular presets? Yeah. They give you four? Oh, dude, I gotta tell Yeah, I gotta tell you, the black guy from the first one was, like, fucking hilarious looking. Because he was so inc Like, he was so racist. <laughs> it was, like, absurd. Like, it was literally like you were playing a character in blackface. Except there was an actual, like, character. Like, I couldn't believe it when the first time I ever saw it. Now, this is a silly question, but this is a Japanese game, right? Yes, it is, okay. as a matter of fact. Because <laughs> the Japanese are fascinated with black people. I was going to say, yeah. Are you insinuating that Japanese people can be racist? Because... No, no, they're not racist. They... Remember, like, Bob Sapp and, and Rampage? They were, like, That's celebrities true. just because they were huge black guys. Because Asian men are small, and that's like a spectacle almost. Everything's <laughs> more, more for the showmanship over there. And just existing as a giant man who's black, you know, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. This, this is very true. I want to get that freaking ridiculous looking, uh, huge looking sword that I keep seeing people running around with. Now, why is he here with a big sword if this is the starting area? Uh, good question. I don't know. He might have a reason to return at some point. Hmm. That kind of shit does happen at some point. Let's, let's see here. I'm trying to remember there's like What items. did you pick up there? Oh, uh... I'm not sure, actually. I mean, I read it, but like... Yeah. It was something very unconsequential. I thought it was a soul, but I see you didn't, you didn't get any souls. Yeah, there. let's see. Probably just a soul drum or something like that. Was that somebody growling? Yeah. I totally thought that was my stomach. What? <laughs> Your stomach sounds an awful lot like a dude. There we go. I, I, it's definitely pretty beat how long they actually make you play with this crappy broken sword, though. That guy didn't put up a fight. No, this is the like the tutorial area. Tutorial. I'm only actually even doing it because I think there are items I can get if I go through each of these doors. Are those torch stands or they sundials? <laughs> you can actually get to. All the bonfires, you can, like, light your torch, and that's, like, the whole gameplay mechanic, apparently, for later parts of the game, where it's so dark, you actually have to just keep a torch with you. Gotcha. You just go around lighting the different areas. Now, are these guys here the equivalent to, like, those naked guys in the first game? Yeah. That are just everywhere? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. They're technically, the, it's the same creature, they're just wearing different uh, attire. Okay, okay. They're all just hollows. So... Whoa, man. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
you know what was awesome about that? What's that? Is we both saw you almost fall, and I knew you weren't out of the woods yet, and you thought you were. And I was like holding on to it, and I'm like, you can still totally fall off that. Yeah. You're like, whoo, oh no. That's true. That's very true. Let's do it. No, no, no. I don't Oh, oh! <laughs> what's going on? Ah, here? The controls aren't great. Let me run. <laughs> what the shit was that? I don't know what's going on here, son. Well, he's supposed to be able to jump. Oh, hold the button masher here. See, that's actually the reason. I can't wait to make sure this is the right spot. I should be able. To... Yeah, okay. This is exactly what this is. Your practice is dash and jump first. Yeah, that's this. Okay, okay. You know what it is. Yeah. Should be like a straight shot too, right? Pretty much. There we go. There you go. Could you fall off in the first one? Oh, yeah. That happened, like, all the time. I think I'm so afraid of heights, I just cling to everything. All the walls and everything. Yeah, it's, uh... Oh, all that? And you're just there for our soul? That's it? Yeah. Okay. Hey, I, I want it. That's the entire reason we've been playing through the tutorial in the first place. I want to grab all the items. That's true. Thing is, I'm pretty sure it's an item for mana, and I'm not planning on doing any kind of uh, any kind of casting with this character. He's gonna be completely melee only. Gotcha. That's a tougher route, isn't it? That is actually an area I haven't even finished yet. There's just uh, some demon down there, and you can fight him and kill him. And I'm pretty sure he drops a ring. Well, there's two of them actually. Yeah, like you only see the one, but then when you go to run down and attack, a second one comes out of nowhere and fucking they will fuck your shit up if you're not careful. Gotcha. I've never killed it before successfully. Watch out, watch out. But, uh... Yeah, this game, I'll just say right now. This game, the, the Souls series in general, but specifically Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2. Actually, I can't say Dark Souls 2 yet, because I only just got it, even though it's, so far it's pretty solid. But uh, Dark Souls is my favorite game of all time, specifically because... Oh, Christ! That hurt a lot. That did hurt a lot. And you got hit with an arrow. There's somebody behind you also. Oh, I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. You see, not like a man with an arrow in your neck. Yeah, it's very Bormer true. Bormer style. <laughs> and then you play a game like this, where it's completely the opposite of that. Where it's like, no, your character's really weak, and it's always a constant, like, David versus Goliath situation, pretty much. Oh, fuck. Oh, my hit God. Get your souls, get your souls. Yeah. Okay. So now, even if I die, it's fine. Okay. So have... Oh! Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Really? Who's my bit? Now I'm actually prepared to fight this guy. He's a little more helpful. Sorry, I'm too behind you. It's fine. It's not really fine, but. Watch your souls. Okay, okay. Oh, for fucks! When the pressure's on... <laughs> this is garbage. <laughs> it's that crappy sword they gave me, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> I really kind of want to skip it, but at this point I, I want to put my souls back up. Yeah, so I can level, level up. I wasn't gonna say anything. I swear I wasn't gonna say anything. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't believe it. So, uh, yeah, you know, I guess we'll just skip it then. It's a big mechanic about this game, though, like, that you uh, eventually learn just from experience, but um, the thing about this game is that you're going to die. Like, it happens all the time. Oh, sure, sure. So it's not really about not dying, it's about learning. Um, Learning, but specifically, like, what you do is you identify a death before it happens. Like, you you have to just, at some point, realize, okay, I'm definitely going to die here. And then take active steps to make sure that your body is easier to get after you die. <laughs> die so, in like, a convenient location. Like, yeah, like, you specifically, like, when I know that I've now pulled too much shit and I'm not going to get out of this fight, I'm now trying to backpedal and get to a spot where I know there's not going to be too many enemies around. So when I go to get my soul back, my body back, I, I can get to an area where there's a uh, few enemies that I have to fight past and... It's, uh, it'll be a little bit easier for me. When you die in that boss fight, you best make sure you die where you can be rezzed. Don't die at the boss's feet! So then I gotta aggro that boss. Yeah, it's, uh... It's 
it's not a good sign. Right, so you are you hollow now? No, no, I'm dead. I'm still undead. You never, okay. you were never not undead. Oh, they're not whole, whole thing. You weren't. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the whole deal of the game, which is another thing I like about this game too. The way like you know, gameplay and story kind of comes together, where it's like uh, the whole idea is oh you don't really remember why you're here, because you're undead and you're kind of going crazy, but you as the player since there's no actual thing you're given to go on with the story right, other okay. than that cinema, you also don't actually know why you're here or what you're really doing here. So it's kind of fine. It's just like the now, so you're intended the gameplay. to. Uh, being reflected through the story. Right, okay, okay. So the like, story uh, reflected through the gameplay, rather. Like Limbo. Oh uh, yeah, very much. Where that so. game starts off and just like, what's going on here? Giant spider, run. Mm -hmm. It is actually just like that. Watch out for all the things that can kill you. This is actually very much like Limbo. <laughs> yeah, you just die brutally in horrible ways. That's Limbo just you know presented more like you know an indie game that it was made for not a huge amount of money, and this game is you know, it's, it's all right looking. Actually, you know, I'll tell you what, though. Like I said, the whole thing of this game is that, like, if some people are like, eh, it doesn't look good. I'm like, yeah, I think parts of it don't look good, but um, there are some things in it that are very well polished. Like, for example, like, if I stop on this cliff here, and you can actually just pan the camera oh, around. Oh, sure, sure, and, sure. Like, this area is actually very, very cool. It also looks a lot more open than the than the, the previous one. Just, like, the environments, at least. I would I say it like is. I person it's... was very confined. Yeah, it definitely felt a little bit more that way. This one has got a very, like, yeah, like, here we go. When I step out here and you look around. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a very different feeling world than gotcha. uh, what was in the original game. Which I enjoy. It's definitely, like, it doing its own thing. But still retains all, like, the gameplay improvements over Demon Souls from uh, the original Dark Souls. Gotcha. So uh, that's one thing I like about the Souls series. I mean, like, every game has its own identity. It feels like it's, it's doing its own thing while keeping the most important shit intact. Sort of like what Final Fantasy used to do, and then they completely stopped. <laughs> what they used to do. Yeah, you know, when they used to make a Final Fantasy game, and it was great. Then they make another one, and it was like different story and shit, but, but you know, otherwise, still the same kind of basic thing, and it was great. And then they one day, you're just like, nah, we're not going to do that anymore. We're just going to start making our games ridiculous and out of control, and the combat systems aren't going to make any sense, and the characters are going to be annoying and unlikable, and we're going to have 13, three 13 games, and... Three Final Fantasy tens. And I can't believe they fucking brought that bitch back again. I know it's like it's weird. It's the craziest shit I've ever seen because I don't like. It's ludicrous to me that there's people who are like like they think that they're people who are that anxious to see more of that character. But they won't make a goddamn Final Fantasy seven remake. I'm okay with that honestly because at this point I know They'll that if they make one, it. it's gonna yeah. be garbage. They, yeah. they will. They'll, they'll completely destroy it. I'd be okay with just like an up. Uh, like, if they just went and did, like, an HD version of right, 7, HD I'd be fine with that. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, don't really do anything other than just make it look sharper. And sure. I, I would say, seriously, like, get rid of the fucking goofy Lego Lego people fucking sprites. Or not sprites, <laughs> but character models from the original game. I fucking hate those things. Yeah. They're fine. They're nostalgic. I don't, I don't like it. No, they're not good nowadays, though. I'm specifically only referencing to your character as... Oh, man, that was close. That was close. I'm specifically only referring to the character models from, like, when you're wandering around the open world. Right, you know right, I mean? right, right. Like, those ones look particularly shitty. Okay, yeah. When you were in battle, like, yeah, they still didn't look good, but they at least they were proportionate like ordinary human beings. Or, you know, more ordinary human beings, anyway. Well, that's just the way I came. Now, these all... Those are deaths, those little red things? Oh, yeah, check us out. Like, if I go over, that's a blood stain. This is how you, you see how they died? Mm hmm. Oh, see? There's so, this. He, this guy killed him. That's what you're telling me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. You see? We're watching him get his ass kicked in real time. Not in real time, but a, a, a replay of him. Is that from. Was that in the, the, the first one? Yeah, it's been in all of them. I don't remember. That's that another, at all. Basically, the mechanics that bind all the Souls games together, you got your. Uh, the fact that Souls are your XP and also your currency. Gotcha, and yeah. the way you drop it and pick it back up. Um. And the blood stains and the messages on the ground. Okay. Uh, those are pretty much the and the way you know the same and the way they do multiplayer. Those are basically the that's the essence of the Soul series, pretty much. That's gotcha. the shit they've carried. And you know, and the combat basically, overall, like the whole way. Like, I think specifically what makes this game great is that it's got the uh, the stamina bar. Mm -hmm. But it's probably the most finely tuned, well-made stamina bar from any game that utilizes a system for melee combat that has like the stamina bar. Like, gotcha. it, it totally regens at, like, the perfect pace, where it's, like, it's not too slow, it's not too fast, like, and it, and it gives everything, 
a very nice, like, exciting feel to it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a, a buzzword that gets thrown around a lot is uh, precise. It's very precise combat. Yeah, definitely. You definitely feel more accomplished when you do things. Well, yeah. And, like, the hitbox for your weapon is really, like, uh, that's exactly the word you use right there. Is it's, it's a very precise, like, you know, like, the, it bounces off walls where it should. It, uh, you can, you can really utilize the reach. Looks like the, the game focus was definitely emphasized around the character. And what the character does and how they interact. Yeah, very much so. Oh, you know what? I just realized they're probably going to follow me up here. They are following me up there. No, it's fine. However, you just stab them in the face one at a time. Oh, wow. That worked great. I love how they have, like, uh... Little, little Spanish helmets. Yeah, I kind of like that, too. Conquistador cool. helmets? That thing on. I do believe so. There we go. Oh, fuck me. Mm. 